William, my boy, I am delighted to see you. Not as delighted as Solano will be, of course, but delighted nonetheless. How is your father? Both he and my mother are well, sir. Father is over his ears with work, as usual. As am I. As are all such important men of state. <laughs> well, there'll be time enough for rest when we're dead. Are you enjoying the festival, sir? I managed to catch a glimpse of it between business meetings. I tell you what, William, you must sign up for the dueling tournament. Who, me, sir? I'm not much of a fencer. False humility, boy. It would be an honor to challenge the brothers of Kor. Their swordsmanship is renowned throughout the Empire. Besides, it's a great way to impress the ladies, in particular, my daughter. I'm sorry to hear that your business engagements must take the place of pleasure on this trip. Well, I take my enjoyment from the pleasure of my wife and daughter. They adore this sort of thing, you know. As for me, I'll be more than satisfied if our trade agreements and business contracts are signed and sealed by the week's end. The salt from our mines won't go anywhere by itself, you know. And it won't get sold if I'm nibbling pastries and gawking at Joyman. I've taken up much too much of your time, my boy. I'm sure you're anxious to pay your respects to my lovely daughter. We're staying at the Knight's Promise in the Northeast Quarter. Join us for dinner this evening. I'd really like to, sir, but you see, I'm here with some people. They may have made other plans. But, William, we're talking about your fiancé here. Give your friends the slip and join us. Um, I'll try, sir, but I, I can't make any promises. Well, Lord Sheffield, I really should be going. I'll tell Solano you're in town. Now don't be a stranger, boy. <laughs>